Alright guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the new sniper rifles in Arma 3. We've got the... Let's take a look so I don't mess the class names up. The M320 LRR, and we've got the GM6 Lynx. The GM6 Lynx is the one that uh, Bohemia made a pretty big deal about while, they, while they've been talking about Arma 3. So that's the main rifle we're going to be looking at today. So let's get geared up with that. 12.7 millimeter. I'm pretty sure that's 50 cal. And before we get started actually shooting, take a look at uh, the new badass ghillie suit. It's uh, it only seems to be about a half ghillie suit, like a jacket, and you've got your camo under it and you can actually wear your vest, and you can take the vest on and off under it. Uh, I like the look of this ghillie suit a lot more than the traditional ghillie suit. But, enough about that. Let's get shooting. So, along with adding the sniper rifles in, they have added a rangefinder in. So now, you can get accurate ranges to your targets. And the first place we're going to shoot is on these ruins over here. Let's see, we got a bunch of targets between three and 400 meters. Looks like they're all between three and 350 meters. So let's check out the performance and characteristics of this. Now the default zoom, or not zoom, the default zeroing is 500 meters. So I actually have to drop it down a little bit to shoot. And the scope has two levels of zoom. I think it's uh, let's take a look in the inventory. I think it's 10 to 85x. So you've got your 10x zoom, which is what we're looking at now, and then your 85x zoom, which is what we're looking at now, if I'm reading those numbers correctly. If not, I'm sure someone will chime in in the comments and let me know how much of an idiot I am. So we're zeroed on... 300 meters, and all these targets are at 350 meters. Now I wonder if I can hit him through the wall. Let's see if I can hit the wall and drop him. Doesn't look like it. And the reload animations are meticulous to the type of weapon we are using. And I think that's a really cool feature that they put into Arma 3. So let's give this guy another shot. Pun not intended. There we go. And now let's see how all the anti-material rifle does against material. It usually takes about a whole mag full of rounds to take out one of these tires. There we go. That was, I'm not sure if the first round hit, so it took one to two rounds to take out the tires. And let's put our range, let's bump it up a little bit. There we go. Get a range. 795 meters. Boy. Put it right on 800. There you go. Now, I was testing this earlier, and... No matter how many rounds I was putting into the engine, it wasn't destroying the vehicle. So, I'm not going to waste too much time trying to destroy it, but we can assume that one shot destroyed the engine. So that was an 800 meter shot. Are there any other targets out there at that range? There's one. Let's get a exact range so I don't miss and look like an idiot. What the fuck are you guys doing walking around on the range? I am not responsible for anything that happens to you retards. Here we go. It's actually 766 meters. 
Do I have any further targets out? What about this guy? He's 8, 15. Here we go. Let's get this guy. 974. Zero on a thousand meters. Stabilize a rifle. By the way, there's a mod out now that lets you mount your weapons. It doesn't do anything for your weapon sway, but it massively reduces your recoil. But these rifles don't seem to have much recoil to begin with. So this guy was 975 meters. I'm zeroed on a thousand meters. So let's aim right for his head. Gotcha. Scan for further targets out. Is there nothing further out? Well, I guess what we're going to have to do is shoot from a more elevated position and see if we can get further out. But before we do that with the GM6, let's take a look at the M320. Now this rifle also looks ridiculously badass and again the reload animation on it gotcha the reload animation is again meticulous very nice and I'm not sure do we do we rack the bolt between every shot? Oh, that's another thing. Not only do the sights on these rifles have backup iron sights, but the rifles themselves have iron sights. So that's kind of crazy. Let's put a round into that effort up there. Hold my breath for too long. I guess we don't rack the bolt between every shot. That's something that may be fixed in the future, though. Put our scope back on, and we'll go for that thousand meter shot again. There he is. And the scope is actually the same scope for both rifles. The rifles are different, but the scope is the same. And we aimed at the head. And got a headshot. All right, so let's move up to the uh, to the lighthouse and see what kind of shots we can get with that GM6. All right, there's where we were shooting from before, and here's where we're going to be shooting from now. First order of business is to find some targets. We've got the ruins down there. We were shooting at those before. How far is that out now? 600 meters? 700 meters? But we can do better. There we go. 2,030 meters. All right. Let's get in a good, comfortable, prone position. Let's see if we can reacquire that target. There it is. The bumper zeroing up to 2,000. Now, once your zeroing goes above 1,000, it starts going up in 200 meter increments. And then once it hits 2,000, it only goes from 2,000 to 2,300. So that'll be interesting to play around with. But this target is almost right at 2,000 meters, 2,030 meters. So I'll aim just at the tip of his head. 
and see if we can make contact. <sighs> Goodbye. Alright, now we are looking at targets that are so far out that I had to bump my video settings up. Looking at a target that's 22... 60 meters out. Let's see if we can tag him. And as you can see, I'm shooting at such a long distance that the level of detail models are bugging out the rock up behind the target. So we got 2260. So we'll put it on 2300. And aim a little bit high. Breath caught at this point is pretty hard. And there's another target up there right behind them. It's just high and just below him. Ooh, right at the base. Alright. Bye. So we can hit this other guy behind him. So he's 2260, that should be about 23. Ooh, almost. Oh, almost again. Gotcha. And these guys, I believe, are at 2,500 meters. Let's double check. Reacquire 2,490. Yep. Right at 2,500 meters. So. Alright, so we our zeroing only goes to 2300, and I don't know exactly how the dots work on this, so we'll assume each dot down is 100 meters. So we'll aim two down. Mm, no impact, so we're running too high. Ho 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 ho! Two shots at 2,500 meters. Let's see if we can get this other guy. There we go. Look at that travel time. All right. Was that two shots for the first target and five for the second, I think? And the second had half, uh, half defilade. So, this concludes the demonstration of the new sniper rifles. Uh, let's get a little bit better of a look at this very pretty looking weapon. And as usual, thanks for watching. Stand by. I'm going to go and go right. Gotcha. Yeah. Crawl. Lights clear. Rocket. Did you get it? Dead. 
I fucking hope you didn't miss at that range. Yeah, oh, yeah, there it is. It. 